it off while we're on our drive, wherever you're going. I don't do anything stupid or trying to be funny or anything like that. I just, uh, it's just the people that watch on the internet. It's no problem. All right. Okay. Here, you can hold my card. All right. <laughs> so it's called Uber John Radio. If you look right here, you'll see what people are seeing on the internet right now. Oh. Okay. Can you see that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Very cool. Try and have a little fun with the uh, <laughs> driving around. Sure. All right. Where are we headed to? Um, 790 Ritchie Highway. All right. So how long have you been doing the live streaming? The live streaming I've been doing for about five months. I've got about 200 videos on YouTube. And... Um, it's, uh, it's actually just now starting to get some wheels. There was uh, a guy that was doing live streaming out in St. Louis, and he wasn't telling people that he was live streaming them. And he got in a lot of trouble for it. And I think that there's now, I'm starting to get a lot more people watching because people are now starting to look for anybody that might be live streaming. I was the first guy to do it, as far as I know. I went searching for people that were doing it. Nobody was doing it when I started. But I've been driving for Uber for about three and a half years, mm -hmm. and um, from the very first day, I thought it should be a TV show. It's you know some rides are funnier <laughs> than others, but oh wow, well, I'm know, sure you get some real characters, especially if you're driving <laughs> around at one or two at night or in the morning. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, you know, in the very beginning when I started streaming, I was doing some night streaming, but the the video didn't come in very well, uh, so I needed either get some lights in here. But I stopped really driving at night for the live stream. I still drive at night from time to time, but I don't do any live streaming because there's no real, there's there's nothing really to it other than voice. It's like doing a podcast or something. Right. So right, I right. haven't uh, I haven't really done anything with night night stuff. And one of the things that you can run into is that um, I think that you know people are out you know partying down in Annapolis. I've had a lot of different rides where you know people get in, they're just completely nuts and. Um, <laughs> I think um, I've got to I've got to work that over in my head, you know, what to do when people are doing things, even though they know they're being recorded, or they know that they're they're on a live stream, they still might be doing some stupid things. And I'm not doing this just to embarrass somebody, that's, right? You know, and that's not the point. It's just to kind of, you know, let people peer into, you know, the life of a of an Uber driver. Yeah. So. so is this what you do uh, full time? No, actually, I have a uh, another job. I work. Um, I work with a, a friend of mine that started up a gutter cover company, and um, we do uh, Valor gutter darts, and I do that during the day, and, and this one I'm not doing that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're doing the, the work yourself, cleaning up the gutter darts? No, no. I, I just do the uh, selling. We have uh, we have a guy that's been doing, um, uh, been doing the uh, installing gutter guards. He's done over 50,000 feet of of gutter guards but we just Yeesh. got my friend just got the um, um, the franchise for Valor gutter guards and they're the number one rated gutter guard it's a it's a micro mesh that's it's a it's an amazing product it's better than anything else out there hmm. and so when he got that he uh, gave me a call and asked me if I you know come together with him and, and put it together but he's been in the contracting business for almost 50 years yeah, I thought I got them awesome. We didn't have them initially when we built our house, and then uh, we ended up getting them about two or three years later, and I'm like, ah, oh, changes everything. It's, I mean, it's, it's incredible not why we don't have them, because they're really not that expensive. You know, I, I mean, not in our experience, they weren't that expensive. How long did you get? I would say probably two or three years ago. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Do you mind if I ask what kind you got? I don't know because my husband handles all that. I just know we got gutter guards. Okay. <laughs> because they were getting, um, you know, just so clogged. And is deep. it like a helmet where the water has to come over the top and kind of go into it, or is it a something that flat that water flows through it? Do you know? It's like a. It's just kind of completely covered, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's like a, a helmet, a gutter yeah. helmet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I was I'm surprised at the number of, of uh, companies that are out there that are actually doing that. There's there's a lot of people that are out there. I tried to uh, 
called a couple of companies to get somebody out to give me an estimate on my house when I was first starting with him mm -hmm. and going through the process of getting licensed before I started just to see what everybody else was doing. And um, one of the companies said they couldn't get anybody out to do an estimate for three weeks. I'm like, oh, wow. Wow. That's crazy. Three weeks. Three weeks. Just to get an estimate. Can't even imagine how long it would take to get something installed. My car actually tried to drive to the golf course today. <laughs> it's, been, it's been so long it forgot the way. Oh my gosh, I know. Just crazy. And you know, it's, it's funny because if you just leave the rain and everything is so much more beautiful after the rain. Yep. Grass and trees and all the flowers, but whew, you have a, a week in a row like that. It is crazy. I'm a little confused at why the GPS brought me all the way straight out and didn't have me cut down uh, Evergreen. You know what, I was going to say cut down there, but sometimes GPS knows maybe there's an accident. Or... Yeah, it sometimes can get really slow there, but it's not school right now, so Severn School isn't open. and they. they yeah, uh, you wouldn't think. But I guess rush hour, that stop sign there sometimes can get really uh, backed yeah. up. Oh, yeah, you know, because people are so crazy. Instead of just going to the stop sign and using that as a right, they're trying to get out and you got, you know, traffic coming both ways. Yeah. It's not really the best move. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So I live here in Severna Park too, actually. Oh, where? Uh, I just live over in Westridge, over behind uh, where the Coles is. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll tell you back there. Miller. Yeah, my my auto mechanic lives down almost to where you live. His oh, name who's is that? Bruce. Do you know Bruce Redpath? No. No. If you're coming out on uh, Center Drive coming up the hill from where you are. It's mm -hmm. just on the right-hand side just before you get to the top of the hill. Oh, okay. He's got a big lift in his garage. And, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty amazing. So much more trustworthy to have uh, somebody like that as opposed to going to the... I, I, I took my vehicle in um, and it had just passed state inspection. And uh, they're like, yeah, you know, I think it needs new brake pads and rotors and it has 22,000 miles on it. I'm like, that sounds crazy to me. Yeah. And uh, so I took it to this guy, Zach, in Pasadena, and he only works on um, foreign cars, German cars. And uh, I, and they were trying to charge me $2,200, and he's like, yeah, your brake pads are totally fine. And I, and I find it amazing because you're so much at their mercy. Mechanics, doctors, you know what I mean? There's so many yeah, it is a you, little scary. You're yeah. literally at their mercy because you have no clue yourself. And it's not like I can go look at a brake pad and say, hmm, yeah, you're right. This really needs to be fixed. <laughs> well, I will tell you that um, uh, if you have foreign cars, Bruce works on foreign cars. He worked for uh, for Honda for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And um, he's an amazing guy. And he is the least expensive by half of everybody that I've ever been to. Yeah. I'll be sure to, because uh, this guy's in Pasadena, but I'll be sure to let him know. You have to give me his information. Yeah, his, yeah. He, he um, gosh, I, I don't know if I have his address, but I will tell you that if you just walk up the street, literally, it's not going to take you two minutes to walk there. Mm -hmm. Just walk up like you're going out Center Drive and look for the house where the garage looks like it's two levels. Okay. And just walk up and knock and say, hey, Bruce, Logan, which is my uh, middle name. It's what uh, he knows me by. Um, tell him that uh, that Logan had told you to stop by and that uh, you've got certain cars or whatever, and and uh, he'll help you out with that. Yeah, awesome. He is uh, he is truly amazing. He's done. And it's hard to find honest people, and they just want to rip you off so much. It's yeah. so bad. You you won't believe when. <laughs> so, he went to do uh, uh, an oil change for me. And um, I think the last oil change he charged me twenty bucks. Wow! Yeah. Including the oil. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deal. My wife has a suburban. I think hers is like thirty bucks or thirty-five. And uh, everything that we've ever had done, I just had uh, uh, 
brakes put on my wife's car. She had to have one of the rotors turned and, you know, all of it, I think, was uh, 400 bucks. For, yeah. I mean, it was it was really inexpensive compared to everything else that I've seen. And, and I'm always shocked when he tells me, I'm like, Bruce, are you charging enough? He goes, yeah. He's yeah, I mean, not trying to gouge people. He gets done just, with stuff yeah. really quick, you know. and jack up the labor. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. So it looks like we're going into where Cafe Mezzanote is. Exactly. That's where I was okay. last night. And, uh, we up, where our plan was definitely to leave there around 8, 8.30, my girlfriends and I. And um, then there was a, <laughs> an accident. And uh, so we look out on Ritchie Highway. It's completely bumper to bumper backed up. And we're like, well, that's another cocktail. And honestly, it was backed up probably for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, because, uh, and believe it or not, the girl who had the accident was sitting right next to our table. She wasn't drinking or anything. She only had one drink, but the, if the uh, Richard Highway had flooded so badly that our car spun out. So it was, I have to show you a picture. So it was in like wow. so much water. They basically closed the road. And uh, I'm like, that's nuts. So yeah, so what happened to us was more cocktails and that turned into we need an Uber. That was her car <laughs> on Richie Highway last night. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> so I mean That was, was on this road right here? It uh yeah, further down. Wow. Uh-huh. It was just wow. a complete flood. That had the the wheels completely covered. It I was know. up to the window. It was nuts. And of course my husband he's just like Ah, oh, that sounds like a likely story. And I That's why you got out. a picture. <laughs> yeah, so I go outside and I take a picture. Well, I didn't see the car. That was sent to us from um, because that was her girlfriend, believe it or not. We, we didn't come there to meet them. It was just coincidental. But she knew them from a boat club that she was in. So the one girl who was driving behind her took the picture, sent it to my girlfriend. She's like, can you believe this? So then I had to go outside and just take a picture of the bumper to bumper traffic and send it to him. I'm like, listen, this is happening. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I was in Annapolis and um, I guess it was, was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. And I, it was perfectly sunny. It had rained earlier. It was a little sprinkle. Got really sunny out. I pulled over and I didn't, I didn't have a ride. I was in between rides and I walked into the Starbucks. I got, I got a, uh, a coffee. And I was walking out, and there was rain. It was sideways in front of the place. And I just went, I couldn't believe it. I looked out, and there was a river running down the middle of the street, coming all the way down from Church Circle. And it was it was six, eight inches deep. My car was, you know, it was blown by the wheels. So I waited for the rain to slow down a little bit. And I went out. I took my shoes and socks off, and I, uh, I went and waded across the, the river that was now under my car. And by the time I got into my car, and I got, I have a towel that I keep in here, and I dried my feet off, put my socks and my shoes back on. By the time I was done putting my socks and shoes off, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. The water had gone all the way back down to where there was just a little bit on the street. And there was no, I mean, it was perfectly sunny out. Nuts, it was like right? it never happened. I mean, just nuts. It seems like for the last two to three weeks it's rained every three hours whether we need it or not <laughs> yeah I mean I'm surprised it's sunny today because when I was looking at the 10 day it, it, it said that we are pretty much going to have uh, I guess tomorrow is going to be sunny and then Saturday and Sunday and all next week supposed to be rain all again so we're going to really enjoy today and tomorrow yeah maybe I'll go play some golf tomorrow <laughs> All right, when I come in, right or left to get to your car? Um, uh, yeah, take a right right here, and then on the left. All right. Wait. SUV? Uh-huh. How do you like that vehicle? I love it. Got it three years used, and like I said, about 22,000 miles on it, and I love it. You Excellent. know, because I, I got that vehicle basically for what I would have pay, what I paid for my Ford that I got that was two years old. Yeah. Because it was, you know, old. Just got a good deal. So you go to Aspen? Yeah, man. So my sister has a house in Aspen that she's lived there for 25 years and then just recently moved to uh, North Carolina. But I've been, uh, I've skied Ajax and Buttermilk and 
yeah. and uh, snow mass and it's I love it out there. Love you it. Go to Jackson Hole and Tiki Village. Jackson Hole is definitely the favorite. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. That was awesome. So let me uh, pull over and get a a bunch of new cards. Wow, KTS Therapy. That's really funny because there's a statement that I do. I'll be right back.